Hey people of the VC, it's Andy uh, Cloudy uh, Milder. This is part two of my uh, decade of metal, 2010 to 2019. Um, a celebration of the great releases that I've, I've I'm aware of and I've picked up over the last 10 years. In this video you're going to see items in my collection that were originally released in 2012 and uh, 2013. Um, let's get to it. Vinyl in my collection from uh, 2012 or originally released in 2012. Iron Maiden in Vivo, the live album from the uh, Vinyl Frontier Tour, Triple Vinyl. Resit, Civic Nightmares, German Thrash Metal. Ram Death, my introduction to Ram I think it was, and probably my favourite uh, Ram album, pure, raw, Swedish, killer, heavy metal. Something a little different, uh, some Stoner, a band I've talked about a bit before, this is a Steak and their EP Disastronaut, five track EP. Testament, Dark Roots of Earth. Great album, Be fastly becoming one of my uh, favourite modern Testament albums. Recently got this as VCLT from uh, Darcy. And finally on vinyl, Vector, Outer Isolation, very technical thrash metal. I've really got to be in the mood to, to listen to this one. Not one of my favourites, so I have to say. But uh, uh, when I am in the mood, it does hit the spot. CDs in my collection from 2012. Banshee Mindslave. Um, as you can see, this is the No Life Till Metal uh, repress that came out in 2018, I think it was, but originally released in uh, 2012. Destruction. Spiritual Genocide. German Thrash. Uh, Old band from the 80s, still going strong today. Doro, Doro Pesh, Raise Your Fist. Another good uh, solo album. Rarely disappoints this Doro. More German Thrash. This is, um, is Exuma, Fire and Damnation. Gamma Ray Live, earlier you saw the uh, Skeletons and Majesties EP that I showed, this is the tour that uh, followed. Swedish, I guess epic heavy metal, slightly doomish, Grand uh, Magus, The Hunt. Excellent band, excellent release. Uh, Steve Harris's solo project from Iron Maiden, uh, British Lion. Another Iron Maiden uh, side project, this time one of Adrian Smith's. This is Primal Rock Rebellion, Awoken Broken. And lastly from the 2012 CD collection is uh, Unisonic, which I think is a collaboration between um, Michael Kiske and Kai Hansen from formerly of uh, Halloween. I'm currently back there again, I believe. Hard Rock and Metal albums in my collection, released in 2013 on vinyl. First up, uh, Anthems, Anthems, sorry, by Anthrax. A uh, covers album by Anthrax. A Zonvel, Knuckle Duster, very Motorhead inspired uh, hard rock speed metal, I guess. Uh, some uh, some stoner rock here. This is Fate Is Your Muse by Devil To Pay on uh, Ripple. Ripple is a great label for uh, stoner. UK Thrash 
Evile with uh, Skull. Great album. I'm probably going to say great album a lot, but uh, there we go. Can't help myself. This is only a rake. The second album from uh, Hell. This time it's all new tracks from the band rather than uh, the original Dave Halliday numbers. Andy Sneep's uh, band again, of course. Uh, I I enjoy it, as I say. It's uh, but it's very very Andy Sneep. Intoxicated Rock and Roll Hell Patrol. This is this is speed metal. Um, all the songs are about drinking and and women. It's uh, it gets a bit uh, tired after a time, but uh, still, it's uh, I love the cover. It's a good album. One of my favourite stoner albums, uh, the debut album from Mothership. It's absolutely uh, killer. Three piece band. Again on Ripple. German metal, new wave of traditional heavy metal, uh, mounting the world. This is a Stallion, a uh, six-track EP. Uh, this is re-released on High Roller Records. The second uh, EP from Steak. This is a um, corned beef colossus. Again, killer artwork, five-track EP. More of the, uh, from New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal, Pioneers, White Wizard, with The Devil's Cut. Can't go wrong with a bit of White Wizard. Uh, Witch Cross, Axe to Grind, again, straight up heavy metal. Uh, can't remember where these guys come from. Whether it's uh, US or, or Germany, but uh, yeah. Good album, Axe to Grind, Witch Cross. And finally, from 2013, probably one of the only black metal albums I've got, but a little bit different. This is uh, Zeminal with Nicta. It's kind of a black metal meets progressive metal, um, quite atmospheric. Um, not too much black metal vocals on it, uh, not too much vocals on it at all. Uh, which is why I quite uh, like it. Oh, hello. On to albums uh, that I have on CD that were released in 2013. Hope in Hell, Anvil. It's Anvil. You know what to expect. Death Angel. The Dream Calls for Blood. Absolutely love this album. Apps, fantastic um, thrash metal. Enforcer, Swedish, New Wave of tradi Traditional Heavy Metal, Death by Fire. Another great album, one of the pioneers of the New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal movement. Gamma Ray. This is kind of a mini album, really. It contains uh, a couple of new tracks, um, a couple of cover tracks and some live recordings as well. Gamma Ray always kind of like to keep people um, up to speed with a release, even if they didn't have too much to release. But still great to have in the collection. Megadeth. Uh, this is Countdown to Extinction live. Now, obviously, Countdown to Extinction is a 90s album, but this was a... Uh, I think this was to celebrate the... What, the... 10th or 15th anniversary, I can't quite remember, but um, the the live show itself was, I think, 2012, so this 2013 release is new enough for this series. Newstead, heavy metal music. Um, Jason Newstead, yeah, from Metallica. Not a great album. I kind of expected more from this. A little bit generic sounding. Um, yeah. A bit disappointed. Primitai Rise Again. Primitai are one of the British new wave of traditional heavy metal bands. Um, they're pretty good. Not 
overly blown away by them. Um, saw them live supporting Wolf, I think, uh, recently. So there we go. Some more, some, well, this is more of the stoner rock bracket, I guess. This is a red fang and a whales and leeches with a bit of a freaky 3D cover. Pretty cool uh, release. Good sort of uh, stoner rock album. We have that in the collection. Uh, Scorpion Child. It was a uh, blind buy. It's on Nuclear Blast. Uh, it's... Uh, Straight up hard rock, really, really entertaining stuff. Not heard of uh, Scorpion Child? Check them out. Toledo Steel. Uh, I've seen this band about two or three, maybe four times now. Um, this is their debut um, self released EP. Three tracks. Killer, killer stuff. Good indication of what they would go on to do. And uh, last of the CDs from 2013, Toronaga, Righteous Retribution. Toronaga are a UK thrash band. This was uh, their first release in, God, probably the best part of uh, 25 years, I guess. Um, pretty good album. Um, if you like Testament, you'll probably like Toronaga. So there you have it, that's all the CDs and the vinyl I have picked up that was originally released in 2012 and 2013. If you think I have missed uh, anything that I really should add to my collection, then please do let me know in the comments below. Um, if not, I'll see you in 2014 in the next video.